Hey guys, it's me Tiffany and I'm here with a, another long overdue update. I apologize that it takes me so long to get these videos out, but it just does slip between Mandy working and um, me working. It's just difficult to find time to do it. But um, anyways, I'm here now. I know last video I had said to look out for the cabbage gender predictor test video. Well, we did end up doing the test twice. The first time it was a boy result, but we didn't record it. And then the second time I ended up saving the first morning urine all day. And I don't know if that affected the test. And then we poured it into a huge pitcher. So um, it had only filled the pitcher a little bit. And it was really difficult to read the color because of that. And I think it was a girl result, but really not sure so anyways we decided not to do it because we will know the gender soon um, we have decided to do an NIPT test again this um, pregnancy um, that's a non-invasive prenatal test they have different brands Harmony Verify Maternity 21 and Panorama um, we did the Harmony twice last pregnancy and both times it came back inconclusive I don't know if that was because of the circumstances of my last pregnancy or why it came back inconclusive, but this time we decided to go with the panorama. So um, I had the blood draw on Monday. It, should, it usually takes about two weeks to get back, so we're hoping to get it back around the week of the 10th. Um, so hopefully everything looks good on that. We'll find out our chances of the baby having Down syndrome and tries to be 13, 18, and we get to find out the gender. So that's exciting. Um, another thing I wanted to mention from last video was that I had said I had a subcorneotic bleed. I did have spotting at five weeks, and about five weeks, five days, I went in for an ultrasound. They found the subcorneotic bleed. Um, they said it was very minor that my body should absorb it and they weren't worried about it, but I had to go ahead and get the Rogam because of my blood type. Um, when I failed to mention last video that when I went in to my regular OB's appointment at seven weeks, two days I believe, um, the subcorneotic bleed was gone. He did not see it at all. My body must have absorbed it. Um, so that's good and that's gone and I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, so that happened last time. Let's see, oh, and I also wanted to insert an ultrasound from that appointment, so I'll do that here. And then today we actually went in for um, an elective ultrasound, just at a local place here that does them. Um, and we got a few good shots, so I'll insert one or a couple of those here. Yeah, so um, we're really excited. Um, so far, I'm thinking everything's good. Um, I have been a little nauseous this pregnancy more than the last time. However, uh, it seemed to have tapered off. I think that uh, it's lessening because I found out that as long as I don't get hungry, that then I don't get nauseous. So I've been avoiding the hunger feeling, and that seems to be working. So that's good, and then let's see. I just feel like each week there's not a whole lot to update on, so I don't think I'll be doing weekly vlogs quite yet, um, but you can expect a video the week of February 10th just because we'll have um, gone to, we have a checkup next Monday the 3rd at our doctor, which is not really going to tell us much. It's just kind of a normal checkup, but then we go to the genetic counselor on the 10th. And we will find out a lot then. They'll do a um, more like a, I don't know what to call it, like a ultrasound that looks for markers and looks for what we had last time and all of that stuff. So um, if everything looks clear at that ultrasound at 12 weeks, then we'll be cleared for the genetics counselor and only have to see my OB from here on out. So um, with the NIPT testing test results coming in and going to see the genetic counselor and getting all that information, I will definitely do an update somewhere around then, but I probably won't update until then because there's just not a whole lot to update on. Um, 
If you would like to see belly shots, I plan to start them at around 12 weeks and I'll be uploading them to my Instagram. I'll link both me and Mandy's below. If you follow us, you would have already seen the ultrasound from today because um, Mandy uploaded it earlier. And I tend to update um, Instagram more often. So if you follow us on there, then you'll know, you'll probably know things a lot sooner than I have time to make a video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for your support and your prayers and all of that stuff. And just please continue to pray for us, especially for our February 10th appointment. And I will talk to you after then. Thanks. Bye.